Hello Davis School District and welcome to our fourth installment in the No More Not Here video series. My name is Craig Carter. I'm the business administrator with the Davis School District and today it's my privilege to be with these amazing students and educators at Syracuse High School. Today they're going to take us through the fourth and final uh, skill set which is ECHO or reinforcing positive behavior. They'll also re reiterate the three previous skills that we've learned which are to interrupt, to ask a question, and to educate. So thank you for joining us and enjoy the video. We've been talking about no more not here in our schools because we want to stop hateful and harmful behavior. Our first skill was interrupt. What might that look like? Um, interrupting is like when you see someone doing something hurtful or even saying something harmful, you interrupt them and tell a trusted adult. Like saying stop when you hear somebody say something hurtful and telling a trusted adult. Yes, our second skill was ask a question. What does that mean? That means we can ask questions like, why did you say that? Or do you know what that means and why it is hurtful? Great job. Our third skill was to educate. What might that look and sound like? It might be telling someone why what they said or did was hurtful because they might not know. Like asking them, do you know what that means? That's right. No more not here. This month we are learning about the skill number four, which is echo. If someone speaks up against harmful language, show your support by thanking them and then repeating their message. One person's voice is a powerful start. Many voices create change. Can you give me an example of what this might look like? We can say something like, thank you for standing up for me and then letting a teacher know. I would tell them I felt really uncomfortable about that, but thank you for helping me out. Um, it's hard for me to stand up for myself sometimes, so seeing someone who would stand up for me, I would say, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. It was hard for me to do myself. Have you used the echo skill before or seen the skill used at school? I actually have. Like me and my friend the other day, we were walking down the hall and we hear these two other friends and they're like calling each other nicknames. But I overheard that they were using like a slur. I looked at him and they're like, what? He ends up going over and telling them like, you can't say that, like not here or like ever. He came back and I'm like, no, I'm proud of you. Like I'm proud of you for doing that. And then at the end, I'm like, also thank you for like telling them that. Those are great examples. We interrupt harmful language and ask them why they use the hurtful words. Then we educate them by letting them know why it's important not to say those types of words to someone and support those who are helping to stop the use of hurtful language. Always tell an adult at the school or at home about what happened so they can support you and help take care of the situation. Last month, we learned the third skill for our No More Not Here videos, which was educate. This month, we learned that we can echo and show our support when someone is interrupting, questioning, or educating about harmful or hurtful words. We do this to help everyone feel valued and safe here in our schools and in our community. It begins with me. I will be the one to interrupt, ask questions, educate, and support those in need when I hear hurtful or harmful language. Our schools are a place of learning and respect. Harmful words have no place in our schools. No more, not here. This is a teachable moment. Our schools are a place of learning and respect. As we continue to grow, learn, and understand, I will be the one to interrupt, question, and educate about harmful and hurtful language and acts. Teachers will report these acts to school principals who will make sure appropriate consequences and supportive measures are put in place. No more, not here. No more, not here.